Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this new video on Pepe. Uh, just wanted to do, just wanted to do some sort of a weekend update. It's um, usually it was actually like back in the days um, in in May and April. Pepe actually was quite bullish in the weekend, so I used to always cover it in the weekends. But now I know that there's quite a significant part of you all. Uh, who trades or holds Pepe? So I just wanted to give you my my opinion on on the on the price right now, which hasn't really changed. But um, I I do have a clear idea of what's going to happen. I'm pretty certain on it. Uh, so we'll talk about that, and just in, ge in general, we'll talk about some fundamentals and some other uh, statistics as well, which I think are necessary for you to know uh, if you want to know what's going on with Pepe. So that's what we'll do. Uh, I'm just setting up some things right now. Don't worry. Um, but um, but yeah, overall, I'll, I'll tell you everything you need to know, at least according to my um, my analysis and in my opinion. So for now, let's actually get into uh, let's actually get into Pepe. So what we're seeing right now, first of all, it's the weekend, so volume is dropping down, and Pepe altogether. I mean, it's just not doing that much. All right, it's just in this consolidation. Um, it, it's a very tight consolidation, like it's it's very much confirmed right here that we are between 77, 7800, which is uh, our support. And then we have this, re this resistance right here between uh, 8100 and 8200. Uh, strong resistance also supported. It's mainly just key levels, but the resistance right now is also supported by the 50 EMA. And just th this is just the region which we are consolidating in, right? Now, th what does that mean? That means we're going to get a breakout. And there are some statistics which, which I'll show you that say that it will actually be a very big breakout. Uh, but before we do that, I do want to briefly, I, I, I think I miss, I, I think I haven't done this, but I do want to say that I have my own premium group as well, uh, in which I share my own trades. You also gain access to uh, my own trades as signals. You also gain access to a chat room full of traders, which is very valuable, and my trading guides if you actually want to learn how to analyze and how to trade like me. But for now, the big reason why we're going to get a breakout. First of all, because the longer a crypto remains into a consolidation like this, the bigger the breakout usually. And it's also a very tight consolidation, right? So it can actually get a breakout fairly quickly. And apart from that, what we're seeing is that even though this orange line indicates the, the volume right here, the volume right now is dropping down, as you can see, quite severely. But the open interest, which is the green line, and I'm, I'm hoping you can actually see that full screen. Uh, but the green line is the open interest. That's growing. Like that's in, it, it had a bit of a drop uh, over the course of the last 24 hours. But overall, it's in an uptrend. And what does that mean? That means that more and more positions are open. Now, what happens if more and more positions are open? That means more potential liquidations, which means the potential for some sort of a long and a short squeeze, which means a big breakout. So that's coming. Now, which way it will go? That's not clear. All right. Uh, I think definitely that Pepe has lost the trust of its community, which is bearish. It could still go both ways. Like Pepe has been manipulated quite often as well in the past, like right here. So that could happen. Um, overall, I would say it's better to wait for confirmation. All right. So wait for some sort of a bullish breakout above 8200 to go long. And then, like I said, we can go all the way up to 9,000, perhaps even higher, or wait for a bearish breakout right here uh, below 7,700 before dropping down all the way to 7,000 at least. It's waiting for that. I would say given the market circumstances right now and given just the, the um, fundamentals for Pepe, that it's more likely to get that bearish breakout. But it could really still go both ways. And I really mean that. All right. So that's my take on Pepe. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.